Seventh grade illustrative mathematics, unit seven, lesson 12, volumes of right prisms. Problem number one, A, select all the prisms. B, for each prism, shade one of its bases. Remember, prisms have two bases that are parallel to one another. E, the pyramid shape, does not have two bases that are parallel to one another. Problem number two. The volume of both of these trapezoid prisms is 24 cubic units. Their heights are 6 and 8 units as labeled. What is the area of a trapezoid base of each prism? The information tells us that their volumes are 24 cubic units. To find the area of the trapezoid's base, we can divide the volume of the trapezoid by its height. That would be 24 divided by 6, which is 4. So the area of the trapezoid base would be 4 square units. The height of the prism on the right is 8 units. So we can do 24 divided by 8, which is 3. So the area of the trapezoid base for this prism is 3 square units. Problem number three from seventh grade unit seven lesson two. Two angles are complementary. One has a measure of 19 degrees. What is the measure of the other? Since the sum of two complementary angles is 90, we can subtract 19 from 90 to find the missing measure. 90 minus 19 is 71. So the missing measure or the measure of the other angle is 71 degrees. Problem number four from seventh grade unit seven, lesson two. Two angles are supplementary. One has a measure that is twice as large as the other. Find the two angle measures. Since the sum of two supplementary angles is 180 degrees, and the information tells us that one measure is twice as large as the other, we can write 2x plus x equals 180 degrees because 2x is twice as large as 1x. 2x plus 1x is 3x. In this case, 3x equals 180 degrees. Divide both sides of the equal sign by 3 and 1x or x equals 60 degrees. The measure of one of the angles is 60 degrees since the other angle is twice as large than the other angle is 120 degrees. So the measures of these two supplementary angles are 120 degrees and 60 degrees. Problem number five from seventh grade unit six lesson 22. Match each expression in the first list with an equivalent expression from the second list. Expression A has 7 times x, which would be 7x. It also has a minus x, which is the same as minus 1x. 7x minus 1x is 6x. So far it matches with expression number 2 on the second list. Back to expression A. 7 times 2 is 14, and 14 plus 3 is 17. So it is a match with expression number 2, 6x plus 17. Take a look at expressions b and 3. 6x plus 4x is 10x, just like 2 times 5x is 10x, and then positive 3 and positive 5 is a positive 8, just like 2 times positive 4 is a positive 8. So b and 3 are a match. Take a look at expression c. It has 3 fifths x and a negative 2 fifths x. That's like 3 fifths x minus 2 fifths x, which equals 1 fifth x, which matches the 1 fifth x in the expression for number 1. Expression C also has minus 7 and minus 3, which is minus 10, which matches the negative 10 or minus 10 in expression 1. So expressions C and 1 are a match. Take a look at expressions d and 5. They both have an 8x, so so far they're a match. And they both have a minus 5, a plus 4, and a minus 9. So expressions d and 5 are a match. Now look at expressions e and 4. e has a 24x and 4 has a 12 times 2x 
which is equivalent to 24x. And expression E has a positive 36, and expression 4 has a 12 times a positive 3, which is also equivalent to positive 36. So expressions E and 4 are a match. Problem number 6 from 7th grade unit 4 lesson 8. Claire paid 50% more for her notebook than Priya paid for hers. Priya paid X for her notebook and Claire paid Y dollars for hers. Write an equation that represents the relationship between Y and X. It states that Claire paid 50% more for her notebook than Priya paid for hers. Since Priya is represented with an X, we can say that Claire paid 100% of the price of X plus another 50% of the price of X. So Claire paid 150% of X, which is the same as paying one and a half times X or 1.5 X. So the equation would be Y equals 1.5 X. Please take a moment to like the video and subscribe. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.